So, liebe Freunde, herzlich willkommen zu Figment 2. Wir sind auf der Gamescom im Indie Booth und es macht so viel Spaß, dieses Jahr im Indie Booth zu sein, weil nach Darkest Files haben wir hier mit Figment 2 einen richtigen großen Knaller wieder am Start. Ähm, hier fangen langsam an, die ganz großen Spiele zu entstehen. Das ist kein Indie-Kram mehr, es ist richtig fett. Wir haben zu unserer Seite, may you introduce yourself. Hello everyone, I'm Hans Harvey. I'm the Communications and Marketing Manager at Bedtime Digital Games. You are the marketing and communication manager. Yes. Okay. And and uh, how much was your input packed in this game? Well, let's say in the game development aspect of things, you know, it's not my role per se, yeah. right? But it's more finding ways of how to communicate the ideas of the game and its yeah. mechanics to the people so that they can get a nice overview of it. Okay. Yeah. Well, how much? How big was the team that developed this? Um, for Figment 2, we're about nine. Nine people? Yeah. Okay. And it's been slowly growing over the years. Wow. Yeah. wow, wow. How long did you uh, work on that? Figment 2 has been in production for almost four years now. Okay. But it actually started out as a DLC for Figment 1. Okay. Uh, but then, you know, scope happened, it kind of grew out of proportion. Uh -huh. So here we are with a standalone sequel. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Now you need your extra booth, definitely. Um, let's start to talk about the wonderful music, because music seems to be a very important part of yes, this. Yes, yeah. I mean, it's definitely, you know, almost 50% of the game. Whereas we really want to create an environment and an atmosphere for the player to be absorbed in. And so, for example, whenever you're walking throughout the universe, every single element of the environment layers on the soundtrack. So the raindrops, the footsteps, you know, the trees, the sword swings, they all shift together to layer onto the soundtrack. So every new area that you enter has its own feel. Okay, okay. And that's not even talking about the musical boss fights. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 okay. <laughs> can, can you turn it down a bit? Just a uh, bit? Probably. That would be awesome. Just a bit. Thank you. Um, let me show the people, or can you show us this record? Because I want... Yes. So um, this is the Pigment 1 vinyl. I'm it's going to buy one, by the way, so you can take already one out. So <laughs> Sounds it's, good. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a limited blue press of, you know, 500 copies. Take on one. I want to show yeah, you people. Okay. Really, it's awesome. It's awesome what you did. This is the display. Because how many of these have you have still? I have no idea. Okay. Maybe like a, a hundred, maybe eighty. Okay, Leute, ich werde so eine kaufen, ja? I just told the audience, I'm going to buy one. Um, this is so geil. Guckt euch das mal an, wie schön das Artwork hier drauf ist, ja? All, all these uh, paintings, are they part of the um, Yeah, those development? are those are real locations in the game, yes. No, I mean, uh, is this like, uh, um, um, like, did you use uh, pre-visualization and uh, this is part of it? Or this is extra, have, have been made for the record? Uh, no, these are actually islands in the game. Islands in the game? Yeah. Okay. So right here what you're seeing is Clockwork Town. Yeah. So with Figment 1 we did left and right side of the brain. Okay. That was the idea we were playing with. You know, it's now debunked, but it was still a very interesting idea to play around with. So here you have the analytical, logical side. It's called Clockwork Town. Yeah. So it's very mechanical and yeah. very logic puzzle based. Yeah. And then if you go on the other side, this is Freedom Isles. So it's more the creative, free side of the mind, where it's more lateral thinking puzzles. Okay. Yeah. And we have a figure, so there is a character that leads us through the game. Yeah. What is his story or her story? So, you know, Dusty is the courage of the mind. The courage. Right. Okay. And so, as courage, it is kind of your task to kind of, you know, make sure that the mind is stable. Uh -huh. Making sure that things are going all right. Yeah. And so when Figment 1 starts, it's actually you have these nightmares appearing and kind of like disturbing the peace in the mind. Okay. Um, and so you have to figure out why. And every time you encounter a new nightmare, they sing to you new verses of their songs which shine light as to why they've appeared. Mm -hmm. So for example, in Figment 1, you have three nightmares. You have the fear of illness and disease, yeah. the fear of spiders, and the fear of loss. Okay. Whether that's losing yourself or losing someone dear to you. Okay. Okay. Wow. So it's a psychological game in, in a certain way. It's like yes. it deals with your... Yeah. So it's really wanted to base this off of the human experience. Wow. Where it's, I think everybody more or less can relate to figments. It just depends on how deep you want to go into it. So, you know, we're tackling pretty heavy subjects, but we want to do it in a light-hearted and whimsical tone. Wow. Yeah, so that's the kind of balance that we want to strike. Respect. 
I'm not sure now if I take the record or if I take the game. I'm actually. I mean, why not both? Maybe I would like to have both actually, but um, I attend more and more and more to the game. But we will see that. No, I think I want the record because this is a very unique piece. First, this is this is first. Okay, I put this here. Um, sure, how did you set it down, it's fine. How did you find the, the musicians for that game? So the musician is actually in house. Yeah. And uh, he's been working at bedtime for seven years, I think. Okay. So even before, you know, Figment went into production. Mm -hmm. uh, so his name is uh, Neil Sørensen. Okay. Uh, his band name is Stoisnak. Uh -huh. S-T-O-J space S-N-A-K, I okay. believe. Um, he's also a screams, screamer songwriter for a folk punk band in uh, nice. Northern Denmark. Nice. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. His mind works in mysterious ways, man. <laughs> Yeah, I hear that often. Uh, there's a uh, there's a very uh, uh, how you call it. There's a scene of dark rock, uh, dark heavy metal. Yeah. That was in the 90s. There were some several films about it now. Yeah. So Denmark seems to be the place of of of. I don't know. It's still alive, you know. It, yeah, 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 yeah. If it's, you know where to go, you'll find yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Funny thing uh, is, uh, I, I'm related to a Christian the Fourth. Um, okay. my, my ancestors uh, all the way back all the way back yeah. go to Christian the fourth he was the most um, splendid uh, king you know he had uh, uh, he had um, relations with almost I think all the women in, in this country <laughs> yeah so there was a lot of people to go out from that yeah. relation and I'm so happy to call me a part partially yeah. Danish a know? modern day Genghis Khan <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. So let me talk about uh, the experience that we're going to have. Like, how long is the game, for example? So Figment 2, you're probably expecting around four and a half, five hours of gameplay. Okay. Um, yeah, we want a very linear and tight kind of experience, right? Okay. So you're not going to see the same things twice. You're really progressing in a, in a storyline that's crafted and well-paced. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Sounds awesome. Um, is there any secret, uh, any secret ways? Do I also experience things that uh, because I, I go different ways? No, you, I won't. I, I have to solve the puzzle. There are, there are maybe some things that you can collect. Yeah. So it's just like in Figment One, we have these things called rememberings. Mm -hmm. And so basically, what they are is that they are fragments of memories past. Okay. And so Figment works in this dual-layered narrative way. Uh huh. So, you know, you as Dusty, you explore the world, you talk with the NPCs, the opinions, the neighbors of the mind, you explore a little bit of the backstory there, mm -hmm. and you also explore maybe things through like the nightmares when they sing to you. Mm -hmm. So it's all about how much you go door to door, how much you pay attention to lyrics, or how many remembrances you collect. Okay. To know of like the person whose mind you're in, and you know, their past experiences and what led them to have these mm -hmm. kind of these traumas physically manifest. In the okay, mind. understand. Wow, wow, wow. The deep, uh, deep thing that uh, we go here. What these clouds? We see clouds now. What these clouds mean? Yeah, so these are gloom clouds. Um, okay. This is the first level of Pigment 2, where you face against the Black Hog, which is the fear of the dark. Mm -hmm. um, and so right now, you're really at the top of the subconscious. So this is, you know, how we wanted to visualize it is that it's like a very fresh thing that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and so those clouds are gloom clouds. They're clouds of darkness. Mm -hmm. And they're fogging up the mind. Okay. Yeah. Why this art style? Where does this art style come from? Well, I mean, it's hard to visualize something intangible, like the human mind, mm -hmm. right? Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's a question that's better suited for our lead artist Hugo Ali, who is a, he's a French artist who is based in uh, traditional comics, you know, BD. Nice. Wow. So that's his background. Nice. Um, but yeah, I, you know, we have a lot of surreal games in our in our backlog okay. uh, at bedtime, and we decided that you know a thick paintbrush oil oil stroke kind of kind of vibe to it is something that fit us and we also like to play between the 2D and 3D aspects wonderful you know, yeah I see that so it's, it's 2.5D you know yeah, 2.5D that's yeah. what I thought yeah 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 exactly it's, it's really like because the camera is pretty stable yeah. and uh, you have always a great visual you see a lot of things yeah. but not everything a lot of work goes into the set dressing yeah I guess yeah, so. yeah, yeah I see that yeah, it's really uh, with, with, with which engine this is made with Unity yeah. or Unity wow well, Amazing art, artwork, amazing art design. So how are the, the feedbacks from the people? Oh, it's been great so far. You know, we were here at Gamescom in 2019. Okay. With a much earlier version of the game. Okay. And 
Building at least a standalone sequel has allowed us to address maybe some of the pain points that we had with the Wind Okay. Because I mean, it's no. I mean, it was not a perfect game. You can't make a perfect game. So. The Figment 2 is like what we've tried to at least address is like the player feel, create some sort of more seamless combat where it's like the mechanics are a little bit smoother, you have directional dodge, mm -hmm. you know, your your sword swings are like kind of auto homing mm -hmm. onto enemies, mm -hmm. so it doesn't feel like you're making mistakes. We also got an animator full time, so, uh, okay. you know, to make things look very nice in the game. Okay. But uh, here, so far for the past uh, two days, nothing but love. Well, I see yeah. that, I see that. And with this background and with this music I hear now, um, as I said, I need to buy a, a, one of those records. Um, I would like to see uh, actually some gameplay, I mean, we see it still, but on the other hand, I think, also, liebe Freunde, das guckt ihr ja am besten selber an, weil ich glaube, das ist eine Experience, die macht ihr von Anfang an bis zum Ende selber. Nicht, was ihr hier seht, ist wirklich nur ein Fragment, ja. Aber um, ich, bin, ich bin total begeistert. Ah, this, uh, they also have these plushies, also. Yeah. You have a, we have a quite a setup of merchandise here yeah. already. Wow. I mean, the, the plushies is a very recent thing. Uh-huh. Uh, and, we, you know, we wanted to do market this a little bit before the game comes out. It's okay. actually It's actually the Black Hog's true form. Okay. So since he's the fear of the dark, yeah. most of his puzzles revolve around light. Okay. Because that is the way to stop the fear of the dark. Wow. Um, and so his true form is actually that little puffy right there. Nice. He's actually not as scary as he seems. It's wonderful. So here we are in Cerebrum City, uh -huh. which is a uh, dusty, you know, curtain of mine. It's his little. Uh, yeah.
an opinion that you stand by. Wow. If it fails in the ethics space, it gets rejected. Wow. That's fantastic. Wow, it's really good. Cool. Yeah, so here we're facing the fear of the dark, and of course, he's put his gloom clouds everywhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, you know, we have these lampposts here. They protect us from the gloom clouds. We need a blue one to clear a path to the right. Out. Well, you know, I just, I can't go to the Ah, I see. Okay. Okay. Change the batteries. Yeah, okay. Just to be able to navigate safely. Okay, that's clever. Well, that's nice. So you can carry two batteries at the same time? Yeah, you can carry a ton of batteries. Okay, a ton of batteries. Okay. The right so here you can see the lamppost. We yeah, got they're colored for us. The socket can take multiple colors. Okay. But uh, the, the, color, the battery is not really a recurring mechanic in the game. Uh huh. Yeah, so every time that you encounter a nightmare, they sing a different verse of their song. So here we get the first verse. Yeah, I'm working in the dark in the light. Like it's like a dream will turn it into Yeah. 
graphic style, everything was hand painted? Yeah. Who's the awesome. man when we get to the glass house? We'll smoke his bacon. So this is Prepare a part Prepare to be devoured by darkness. As Adel's born, you quickly sense that I'm here. You have a constant fear that someone is always near. nightmare that you're facing, yeah. couldn't you get different puzzle mechanics, or okay. sometimes it's just simply fighting? Okay. It really depends on you know, the nature of the nightmare. Okay. Lighten up, pig. And where you are in the mind. Get burned! That's the guy. Yeah, that's the question right there. Oh, wait, I his real shape! Ha! This little piggy should've stayed home! So that was one boss that we actually now uh, made up, or what, 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 where are you? Oh, it's, it's not over. It's not over. So he will return. So now we kick him back into the fog. Why? <laughs> oh, man, there he is again. Understand. Is it good to kill him? Thanks for having me. To have, to have you here in our show. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.